to look at how storyboard editing works, let's rough together a montage featuring parkour athletes traversing obstacles, similar to this sequence. First, we'll make sure the source bin is set to frame view. We're going to create a fairly fast-paced montage, so we need short clips. To quickly mark part of a clip, we can play it here in the bin and set an in and then an out. Or double click a clip and use a keyboard to play it, mark it, and review it. That way our cursor stays in the bin, so we can quickly double click the next one to repeat. Pressing I for in and O for out on a default keyboard layout and then six to play into out. The rest of the clips for our storyboard have in and out marks already, so we're ready to create the shot order. Media Composer will work left to right and top to bottom, row by row with this arrangement to add clips to the timeline. Now, if you prefer to keep a tidy bin as you rearrange clips, you can use the snap to grid feature to keep clips aligned as you rearrange them. You can call this up by going to the Bins Fast menu, Snap to Grid, and an option like Enable, so the grid is always visible. Now we'll just drag the clips to rearrange them. Once done, we're ready to perform a storyboard edit. This technique is all about speed, so let's continue using the keyboard shortcuts. First, we need a new sequence. If your timeline isn't empty, you can press Control Shift N on Windows or Shift Command N on the Mac to create one. Now we can drag the music from the bin to an empty audio track. Then we can press the Home key to move the position indicator to the sequence's first frame and disable the record side's audio tracks since we're creating a video only montage. Then we'll select the shots we arranged. You can lasso these or click the first clip and then shift click the last clip in a series and just drag the selected clips to V1. That's it. The sequence is ready for revisions.